EventSquid, software that thinks like you and works like eight of you. At EventSquid, we know it can be challenging to organize your sessions, speakers, tracks, and rooms. We also know that these items need to display neatly and understandably on your event website, in your mobile app, and on a handy printable grid. Let's go to the event builder and see how it's done. We'll start in the event builder under location details by setting up rooms for each of the venues that you have. You simply select the venue and then to create a room, just add its name and capacity. Click the add button and now you have another room. These rooms are saved from event to event. If you need tracks, go to the track manager and create your tracks by entering any name and then adding it to your track library. You don't have to use tracks or rooms, but for complex schedules, we certainly recommend it. Now let's visit the agenda manager. On some event squid sites, this is called the schedule manager. For a basic setup, you can use this screen to enter agenda slots, descriptions, and shortcut titles. For more complex setups, you can use the advanced settings or grid view, it's the same screen, to more easily configure your slots, speakers, and rooms. At the top, you'll see the controls for the agenda. You can enter an optional title. It's not really needed unless you have more than one agenda. Then the bounding dates, the beginning and end dates of your agenda. If you need to find an agenda item quickly, just type in its name or part of it. There's a handy refresh button and a button to see what your speaker and track output grid will look like. Let's create a new slot for today. First, we'll enter a new title. Then you could choose either a standard or a break or meal. The beginning time, how many slots you need, and an end time. You can always change these later. We'll create the slot, and now we can enter a description. Once you're finished entering the description, click the Save Text button, and notice on the left you can change the times, change the nature, or copy or delete the slot. To the right of the description box, you'll see a number of options. You can add a speaker, simply pick the speaker from your previously generated speaker list, assign a track, and assign a room in your venue. Now, notice that I've got two overlapping time slots. Binky Barnes is speaking in the second one, so if I try to add him to the first one, I will get an error report indicating that I'm trying to double book the speaker. So let's change the time of this slot to end before the next one begins. You can also change it to end at the very same time that the other one begins. Now we'll add Binky and everything's good. But what if I forget about this and I go back and change the time of the slot to overlap with the next one? We'll still get the warning. Creating agenda slots is easy. But what if you'd like your registrants to pre-register for certain sessions? In this case, you don't have to duplicate your effort. Simply use the Items, Locations, and Times tool to set up the items for your schedule. Just locate the sessions that you intend to drop into the agenda, click the Update Agenda button, and those items will automatically be added to your agenda. You can add a short title, but the system will import the time, the room, and the description. This feature saves you from having to copy items manually from your items area to the agenda. Once we add it, it'll show up right on the grid where it's supposed to be. That's the scheduling tool from EventSquid.